Today I'm showing you guys how to make a culinary masterpiece. It's a Oreo marshmallow cinnamon crunch cookie. The rich chocolatey notes of crushed Oreos blend harmoniously with like these melty sweet marshmallows and overall it just creates a flavor symphony that kind of dances on your palate. In a mixing bowl, cream together the softened butter, granulated sugar, and brown sugar until it's light and fluffy. Add your eggs one at a time, beating really well after each addition. I usually beat for about one minute after each egg, just to make sure there's like a lot of air incorporated in there. And then I stir in the vanilla extract. I sift in the flour, baking soda, and salt. I like to sift it because I know that sometimes baking soda and flour can create these clumps and I don't want lumps of powder or baking soda in my dry mixture. I wanna make sure everything is incorporated really well. And to do that, I break up any lumps or clumps that I find inside of any of my dry ingredients. Now this dough is really thick, so you're gonna mix it until it's just combined. You don't wanna overwork your dough. Gently fold in your marshmallows, crushed Oreos, and cinnamon squares. I used organic cinnamon squares for this particular recipe. The marshmallows and the cereal are gonna add some ooey, gooey, and crunchy texture sprinkled throughout each of your cookies. Drop the rounded tablespoons of cookie dough onto the prepared baking sheets and make sure you space them about two inches apart before baking them. Bake them in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the edges are slightly golden. The centers might still look a little slightly undercooked, but trust me, they're gonna continue to set as the cookies cool. Allow the cookies to cool on the baking sheets for a few minutes before transferring them to the wire racks to cool completely. You can enjoy your Oreo marshmallow cinnamon crunch cookies with a glass of milk or your favorite beverage. Any cookies that you don't eat, you can freeze the dough, keep the dough inside a refrigerator, or bake all the cookies and store them in an airtight container for about three to four days.